So I'm out here on top of the Hejaz Mountains with Akil Hafiz forever. Hi guys. The guy. Anyway, we're about to go into Ashrafa, try to find a couple of rose farms and then we're gonna move on to Taif. So we are kind of checking out the production right now and uh, they just sort of explained everything but in Urdu, uh, our, our good man here who's like making some excellent Taifi rose oil has explained everything to Akil in Urdu and it's been sort of translated to me. It's fairly simple but it has some intriguing aspects. These bad boys are fed by these gas fires down here. It evaporates. Inside there are 20,000 roses and 70 liters of water. It evaporates, goes to the top of this, the condensates, flows through here, and then comes to this side and hangs out with a keel. <laughs> and then, this is bizarre. This is rose water and rose water. But just at the top of here, very small amount if you can see, I don't know if you can see that, it's a tiny layer of oil, tiny, just one little layer, there it is, and that they suck up, and then they take the remaining water and they put it back in here with another 20,000 roses, and then they collect the oil again. And if they're lucky, they end up with just five grams of rose oil. Taifi rose oil, that's why it's so expensive. So that's 40,000 flowers for t five grams. One tola that you buy at Abdul Samad Al Karashi is 12 grams. And it can cost over a thousand dollars, typically does. And it's only a bottle about this big. But you have to imagine that inside of that bottle, it's a field of roses. It's almost a hundred thousand individual rose petals and I'll show you the rose petals in a minute but they're all inside a bottle this big. So maybe a thousand dollars isn't uh, so ridiculous. So it turns out I made a small technical error which I feel compelled to correct. Actually it's around eighty thousand flowers for two tolas which is around two uh, which is around 25 grams. So they boil first all three of these and then you get that rose water that I pointed out earlier. You get the, the rose water and you get the tiny amount of, uh, of uh, atar or rose oil. And then they take all of these pieces of, of rose oil, all of these bottles of rose water rather, and combine them into one. So from each one of these, the first time, they get about five grams. They combine them all into one, boil it again, and then they get another 20 grams or so. so that comes out to be around 80 or 100,000 flowers for two tolas. Nonetheless, some very potent stuff. This, that small amount is 80,000 flowers. This is the result of the whole process. And he kept it uh, just for us so we could see, which is incredibly nice. But all of that is rose oil. So that's two tolas. That's, you shake it, you can feel it. You can see it thousands of dollars worth of rose oil. So it's absolutely amazing how many flowers are in there. That's kind of what 20,000 flowers look like. So my lens is fogged up. But that's an incredible amount of flowers. Look at that. Wow. It's an entire vat full. Worth noting as well that uh, this is some of the most esteemed and expensive fragrance in the world. All the big brands, all the great perfumers, this is something Taif rose oil has a special significance in the, in the world of scent. It's the most sort of expensive, rare, and uh, interesting smelling fragrances in, in the world. And it's been that way for quite a long time. Actually, check this out. This is a description in Arabic. This uh, boiler is over 200 years old. And that's been going on here for that entire time. Taif is a special place. Oh, and check out this room also. <laughs> I like this room. <laughs> so I've managed to acquire just one Taifi rose, Damask, Damask rose. And its smell is amazing. It's very beautiful. It smells different from other roses and it has a very distinct tint of honey 
You can smell this sort of distant honey inside of this and it's a gorgeous scent. And when you buy Taifi rose oil, which is very expensive, but I have some myself, it smells exactly like this rose, which is impressive. That's sort of none of the depth of that essence has been lost in this very old distilling process. It's really nice though. So we found the fields, the rose fields of Taif. They're here in this little wadi, which has really nice soil. And it's kind of, they're every direction on both sides. There's a little abandoned village over there. And there's a bridge, a freeway across the wadi here. And you can see there's just endless roses, but they're not blooming. So there are no rose flowers, which is kind of what we were hoping for. But he said in one month, they've just produced and picked their first round. They grow all year and they bloom for only 30 days, beginning just a few days ago and they picked them for the first time. And that's why when we were earlier in the uh, distillery, that was the first batch of the year. And he said in one month, there'll be more flowers than they can boil down. Oh my God, we're about to go climb a mountain, but check that out. That is freaking amazing. I had to pull over just to have a look. That's very, very lovely indeed. The Hejaz Mountains are incredibly special and they don't get much credit. In fact, they live in obscurity. I want to climb a lot more of them. Check out these rock formations. Just had a little bit of gear. You could run up a lot of things out here. Look at those cliffs. That's a good cliff. So we've arrived in the gorgeous Ashrafa Mountains. You can see behind me this sort of ridge. We're basically just going to go straight up that. We're going to go in this sort of dry creek bed that's right there. We're going to get to the top, we're going to walk all the way over there, and then we're going to watch the sunset over the Hejaz from there. So here we are, like halfway up this uh, boulder crevasse thing. Been at it maybe, maybe 20 minutes. Akil hates this, don't you? Isn't this awful? Yeah, man, it's awful. <laughs> going to make it though. Okay, we almost made it. We were close, <laughs> but there is a fantastic sunset. It is extremely pretty here. As you can see, a true mountain range, like you wouldn't expect in Saudi Arabia. Ta-ching!